An interesting incident has come to light. Footage has emerged showing Russian Aerospace Forces, or VKS, Ka-52 helicopter gunship being destroyed by Stugna P ATGM. It is well known that manpads, manned portable air defense systems like Stinger and Starstreak pose a threat to the Russian Ka-52 and Mi-28 gunship helicopters, but it is now evident that even ATGMs are presenting a challenge. We can see the Ka-52 hovering at a very low altitude over some trees, allowing the Ukrainian operator to aim and fire the Stugna P missile. In a matter of a few seconds, the gunship is hit by the missile. ATGM, or Anti-Tank Guided Missile, is in general not meant to take out airborne assets, but this is what has happened in this case. As per reports, the hit has been accomplished by personnel from Ukraine's elite 95th Air Assault Brigade. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Ukraine forces have shot down Russian Ka-52 helicopter gunship using Stugna P ATGM. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a premium VPN service available for Mac OS, iOS, Windows, and Android with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries. But why use a VPN or virtual private network? VPN is an encrypted tunnel. A VPN can protect your privacy, which is threatened by many factors like data logging by Internet service providers. It can also help you access contents which are blocked based on geolocation. Why NordVPN? Its servers are fast and has zero log policy. Not only this, NordVPN has taken one step further and recently introduced a new feature, threat protection. Threat protection prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Use the link in the description to get up to 71% off the two-year plan plus threat protection for no extra cost. At the checkout, use the code DEFENSE to get an extra month for free. Ka-52 Alligator is an all-weather attack helicopter operated by the Russian Air Force. Developed by Kamov Design Bureau, part of Russian helicopters, Ka-52 is a twin-seat variant of the Ka-50 attack helicopter. The Ka-52 helicopter can destroy enemy armored and unarmored ground targets, low-speed aerial targets, and personnel at the front line and in tactical depth. It is also deployed as a surveillance platform and aerial command post for a group of attack helicopters. The first Ka-52 helicopter was rolled out in December 1996. The helicopter completed its first flight in June 1997. The serial production of Ka-52 began in 2008 at Progress Arsenyev Aviation Plant in the Primroy region of Russia. The starboard side of the fuselage is fitted with NPPU-80 movable gun mount installed with 2A-42 30mm automatic gun. The six wing-mounted external hardpoints can be attached with different combinations of weapons. The hardpoints can carry Vickr anti-tank guided missiles. Ataka missiles with a laser guidance system and B 8 V 20 rocket launchers for 80 mm unguided S 8 rockets. Vickr anti tank missile has a range of 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles. The Ka 52s can also be armed with IGLA V anti aircraft guided missiles. It is playing a key role in the Russian onslaught against Ukraine. The Stugna P is a Ukrainian ATGM system developed by the Luke Design Bureau. Its guidance device is developed and manufactured by Belarusian Design Bureau Peleng, based in Minsk. The Stugna P is designed to destroy modern armored targets 
with combined carried or monolithic armor, including explosive reactive armor ERA. It can attack both stationary and moving targets. Stugna P can target at a far range of up to 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles in the daytime and a close range of 100 meters. It can be used to take out weapon emplacements and lightly armored objects. In addition to manual operation, the Stugna P has an automated fire and forget targeting mode that does not require manual tracking of the target. Interestingly, apart from land targets, it can also be used against low-flying aerial targets like a hovering helicopter. Stugna P consists of a tripod, missile container, PDU-215, briefcase-like laptop remote control panel, guidance device, and thermal imager. The system can be equipped with different kinds of missiles like tandem charge, 130 mm heat RK-2S warheads to counter main battle tanks, 130 mm HE fragmentation RK-20F for use against infantry positions, tandem charge 152 mm RK 2MK warheads for heavy main battle tanks equipped with ERA and 152mm HE fragmentation RK 2MOF for use against guarded positions. Stugna P is known to have destroyed several Russian armored assets during this conflict. As per the footage, it seems that the helicopter was trying to home in on a target with most probably 9K-121 Vicar ATGM. The 9K-121 Vicar, NATO reporting name AT-16 Scallion, is a laser beam guided anti-tank missile that has been seen to be used widely in Russian helicopters. This kind of missile uses line-of-sight beam riding or beam guidance, so it requires the helicopter to keep the target in constant line of sight. In contested airspace or in areas infested by man pads and ATGMs, hovering at a low level while keeping the beam pointed at the target can be very treacherous. A fire-and-forget missile would have significantly reduced the hovering time and may have saved the Ka-52. While the ingenuity of Ukraine's 95th Air Assault Brigade has to be applauded, the use of ATGM against enemy helicopters is by no means a new concept. In Syria, insurgent rebel groups such as Sham Legion used ATGM when targeting Syrian military helicopters. More recently, Taliban fighters had used ATGMs to down Afghan National Defense and Security Forces helicopters. So it can be stated that the hit has been made possible due to the ability of the Ukrainian personnel to exploit the weakness of the Russian side. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.